We step away a little bit from the syntactical sugar that has been added to Java 14 to discuss about other capabilities. Um, we'll start with the JDK enhancement proposal number 358, uh, helpful null pointer exceptions. Um, as mentioned, this is a new feature that has been added to Java 14. Um, we'll discuss about the motivation, um, as pretty much in any other video. We'll look at a particular JVM parameter that has been introduced and we should um, um, we should leverage in order to take advantage of um, this, uh, this feature. And then we're gonna uh, play a little bit with some uh, null pointer exception uh, examples. I'm pretty sure that um, the majority of you are familiar already with, uh, with a lot of the situations that will be presented uh, here. The source code for these examples is uh, hosted in class helpful np messages under package com github kbnt java 14 np. Now I will not go at this moment uh, in the details of each of the of the examples. I'll just simply run run it and we'll look briefly at the at, at the output. All that I, I'm gonna say right now is that each one of these methods contains code that will produce and will capture a null pointer exception. Um, and in the capture of that, that block, we are going to just uh, display uh, the, the stack trace of, of the message. So let's go ahead and, and run it. Compile and run. OK, so we have here around, uh, what, five examples, if I count correctly, or, or six examples. And if you take a look at the behavior I just described, it's pretty much everywhere the same, right? You get a null pointer exception, and that's the message. You see, it appears at uh, different lines in the in the code, 54, 67, and, and so on and so forth. But if you take a look at this code, it really looks looks alike, it really looks similar. There is no deep information about what actually caused that null pointer exception. In order to offer better support to developers and to the maintainers of the source code, uh, especially for the scenario where we would get uh, null pointer exceptions, the Java uh, platform designers got inspiration from a feature that was available in a commercial implementation uh, of, uh, of a virtual machine. Uh, that commercial implementation coming from a company called SAP. So they implemented an algorithm that for NPEs particularly will actually tell us the, the, the source, the origin of the null pointer, what actually caused that null pointer. In order to take advantage of this new feature, you will need to use a flag called minus xx show code details in exception messages. And this will actually uh, allow us to see or to get more verbosity when, when we run through the, uh, through the examples and we, when we get null pointer exceptions. Uh, let's look now at each one of the examples. For this example, I created a set of artificial classes, uh, the top one being person, that has as uh, fields or attributes, first name, last name, and age, and an address. An address is another class, right? So let's take a look at the very first uh, example where we would get a null pointer exception. Here, I'm trying to initialize a person. And in this code, uh, I make sure that every time the person after this line of code remains null or is null. And then I'm trying to display the first name of, of this person. Obviously, I'm expecting here a null pointer exception. Let's see what happens in, uh, in practice when, when I run the code. So as you can see, instead of j getting just Java lang null pointer exception, as we did in the past, pre-Java 14, that will tell me where at what line that exception happened. I also get the details of what caused the, the exception. And this is very, very explicit, right? It says, where it reads, cannot read field first name because p is null. So now we know what object was, was null. Another common scenario we'll, where we would see null pointer exceptions is when we try to leverage or use the fields in a certain, uh, in a certain object and those fields are, are null. Here we instantiate the person and we try to address the, uh, we try to display the city which is in the address of that, that person. But obviously the 
address itself is, is null. Person is OK, address is null, city, obviously, we cannot get to, to it. Let's see what happens now. Again, null pointer exception cannot read field city because p address is null. So this is definitely much more helpful than just null pointer exception. Let's see what happens when we try to access elements that are null in a collection or an array. And to be more precise, not the elements themselves, but maybe fields of those elements. Here we initialize a person's array list. At least it can be, as I said, any other collection. And we artificially make the element at zero, at the index zero, null. Uh, later on, we convert this list into an array, and we will also have the element at the index zero, null. And in both cases, we try to access that element and get its first name. So let's see what happens. Let me try to run this. All right, so in the very first case, we can see that we cannot read field first name because the return value of array list get int is null. So it tells us exactly what was the method that produced the, the null for us. In the second case, same story or similar story, we cannot read the field first name because array of persons zero, that is the zero element in that array is null. We've seen earlier in the array list example what happens if we try to access the field of a null object coming from an array list. We'll be a little bit more explicit and we're going to try to call a method that produces a null. And on that method, we're going to try to call a different method. In this example, we want to get the first name of a valid person, right? But that first name is going to be null. And then we try to see what the length is. Let's run. It reads, cannot invoke string length because the return value from, you know, uh, person get first name, I won't read the, the full name, got null. When we mix autoboxing and null references, we can get into quite difficult to troubleshoot uh, scenarios. So I have an example right now that is instanti instantiating a person, then it gets the value of the age for that person and displays it. So if we try to run it right now, we're going to get that the person's age is null. So far, nothing exploded, quote unquote, in, in our code. Everything was, was fine. Obviously, we see that we don't have an age for, for that. But we didn't get any exception generated. However, sometimes you'll see code like this that, uh, as I said, leverages autoboxing and tries to get um, the values of the fields in, in this way. So le let's see what happens in this scenario. It says, cannot invoke Java lang integer in value because person age is null. So now we are getting an exception. So just as a warning, Generally, be very careful with the autoboxing feature and uh, null references. And uh, this uh, new GP hopefully will, uh, will allow us to get um, better troubleshooting. This was the last example from, uh, for this uh, feature, for this enhancement. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.